Welcome to ID Simplify. In today's session, we'll see how to create anomaly alert within Azure Cost Management. So let's get started. If you think somebody can get benefit from these videos, pass it along. If you see value in what we are talking about, do subscribe to the channel. Every resource that you deploy in public cloud has a cost associated with it. And as a cloud administrator, it's your role and your job to make sure that you're on top of the game and keep a track of what are the changes happening to your resources. It will not be a good idea if you can have alert notification that can be generated as part of this deployment. Typically, there are three kinds of scenarios that you want to investigate. There are new cost, remove cost, or change cost. Under new cost, it can be if you spin up a new SQL database, maybe create a new storage account, or even add a new virtual machine. Under remove cost, it can be deletion of any resources. Let's say if you go and deploy a recovery service vault and the data underneath it, it can be shutting down of a virtual machine or even removing a SQL database. And under the change cost, it can be maybe changing the instance size of a virtual machine. Maybe you want to upgrade and you're not getting the right performance from your VM instance and you want to bump it up to a next tier. You want to change the storage account maybe from cool tier to a hot tier. This will be all part of the change cost. Let me show you on the Azure portal now where you can configure this alert notification. So I'm logged onto the Azure portal with my admin credentials. From the global search bar, let's look for cost management. From the left side of the blade, I'm going to go to cost alert. And right now you don't see any alerts on display, but let's go and add an anomaly alert rule. Under the alert type, I'm going to pick anomaly. You can also have for reservation utilization. Now in my case, it's all grayed out because uh, uh, I don't have uh, permissions for applying reserve instances. Optionally, you can also create budgets for your subscription. I've created a dedicated video. You can see that in the description of this video. But let's stick to the subject of this, which is an anomaly alert type. You can always change when you want to start the, these alert notification to be sent. And you can also have an expiry date for this. I'm going to take all these default and for the recipients, you can pick up to 20. Now in this demonstration, I'm going to pick myself, uh, but depending upon the job profile, you can pick from uh, owner, billing administrator, what are the processes, whatever the processes are there in your organization. Uh, under the message, you can have an optional message sent with these notification, and uh, you can also uh, give a preferred name for your alert. I'm going to take this default and let's click on the create button. So the alert rule was created successfully, right? If you want, you can always uh, tweak it. You can always delete it as per your requirement. But let me also show you where you can drill down manually into all these uh, different alerts that you see. If I go under the all views, I have smart views uh, option. You can select from resource group, resources, services. Let me just go and expand resources. And uh, we just created that alert rule. So those three uh, uh, conditions that we want to investigate, if there's an anomaly based on those three conditions, you'll see some sort of uh, uh, information over here. Optionally, as I said, based on these alert rule, you'll get those notification. Uh, to the email addresses which are there but this is another way of manually if you want to see uh, what is happening with your cost of your resources you can come over here under the smart view and you can segregate based on resource group resources or even at the subscription level uh, but let me also show you quickly how this notification will look like now this is an example of uh, alert notification which was generated as part of that anomaly alert rule. So you can see the delta change which has happened and also specify the date on which these changes, if there is any changes, removal or uh, instance change or the machine was stopped, all those things will be captured and that notification will be sent to 
those recipients. So this is a great way of keeping a track of what is happening with your cost and the resources. Uh, hopefully this session was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.